Medical professionals and patients must prepare for a technological revolution in medicine. This is the only way to make healthcare effective and more humanistic. Here is how. This is Bertala Meshko, and you're watching the channel of the medical future. Currently, prevalent medical technology is decades old. If you look into a medical black bag, the, the technology that is obsolete, 200 years old stethoscope lying next to a 135 years old blood pressure cuff. While the world is growing digital, designing medical technology is still a painfully slow process. In our caution to save lives, we've hobbled our efforts to innovate. However, disruptive technology is already in development for many problems in healthcare. Hundreds of thousands have access to their genetic data, revealing what medical conditions they are susceptible to. Variable devices that us measure vital signs and health parameters anywhere, not just at the doctor's office. The precision of surgical robots lets doctors perform previously impossible procedures. Exoskeletons let paralyzed people walk again, and smart algorithms help analyze radiology images. News every day make us feel as if we live in science fiction. But when we walk into the GP's office, it's hard to feel the same. Part of the problem is that disruptive innovations are little known among patients, doctors and even regulators. Medical education is focused on age-old, proven technologies, leaving students unprepared to embrace modern ones. There are a hand, only a handful of courses worldwide that teach digital literacy to medical professionals. For sure, regulators are simply as much in the dark as the rest of us. Approval processes were designed with 20th century technology in mind. However, as healthcare is going digital, Moore's law speeds up medical innovation as well. With massive advances springing up every week, there is simply no time to stick to established methods of regulation. Disruptive medical innovations are often not practical enough to be actually used in the clinical settings or directly by patients. Their creators have focused on research, but the history of computing shows that to truly transform our everyday lives, technological advance must be made usable by a large group of people. Health sensors provide raw data, but rarely give guidance to their users about what it means and how to act on it, leaving patients frustrated. The trust in physicians can also be threatened by technology if healthcare does not embrace it. Even though Patients are using their own skills and technology to make health decisions. Google is already used by over 90% of patients to research medical information. In the meantime, though medical outcomes have never been better, trust in physicians is at an all-time low, 34% in the US compared to 73% in 1966. It's also shown by the popularity of alternative therapies and the anti-vaccine movement algorithms, apps and services like IBM Watson, smart health trackers and cheap genome sequencing will hand even more power to patients who will be able to make medical decisions without consulting doctors. But without the expertise of physicians, patients can fall prey to misinformation or faulty technology. Disruptive medical innovations could change healthcare for the better. Technology in the clinic has been shown to help doctors spend more time with each patient. What's more, with telemedicine, smart algorithms and health trackers making it possible to stream medical data from every home, patients wouldn't have to wait weeks for a doctor's appointment or have to diagnose themselves, but would get the help they need near instantly. Studies have shown that medical outcomes increase and costs go down when technology like artificial intelligence is combined with the human touch of physicians. If you do not embrace disruptive technology, the doctor-patient relationship may change forever, for the worse. Patients who are entrepreneurial and skilled enough can hack their own health, which might lead to biological differences because of financial and resource disparities. Matthew James, born with deformed limbs, offered to put the logo of a company on his prosthetic device if they support him and receive the prosthetics he needed. If the potential of medical technology is denied for most of the population, a new social divide will open up in how healthcare is delivered that we cannot tolerate. 
The future of healthcare must be equally available to all, not even more segregated than it is now. To embrace disruptive medical technologies, the following steps must be taken. Number one, improving medical training, combining digital and health literacy to prepare a generation of physicians who are open to technology and innovation. Courses such as the social media course can teach doctors how to use social media to engage with patients and peers. Number two, we need to educate patients to make most of new technologies and take the reins of their own health. Mayo Clinic already provides great, reliable online resources on hundreds of diseases. Number three, healthcare agencies and regulators like the FDA must understand the coming changes, both the dangers and the value that can be gained. Passing the GINA law to protect sensitive patient data and organizing a patient advisory board to include patients in designing healthcare are promising steps forward. Only understanding can arm regulators to walk the narrow tightrope between opening up space for innovation and protecting all healthcare stakeholders from the dangers of rampant technological change. My mission as the medical futurist is to raise awareness about the coming waves of change, bridge the gaps between innovators, regulators, industry leaders, patients and physicians, fostering communication about key issues and keeping the public informed about the technological revolution in medicine, the ethical challenges and the amazing opportunities that we see. I hope to help keep the human touch in medicine intact while facilitating its transformation through disruptive technologies. Thank you for watching. Keep watching my videos to learn more about the future of medicine and stay up to date about the upcoming trends by reading my blog.